Hi, I guess I decided to play a bit more this evening, but I still have to like make a few parts of this because I have no idea how long it's gonna take before I get killed or whatever. Like an awful boyfriend. Anyway, so uh, we're back on the ground, or rather we're new here after some other human, and there's a new game at play, uh, according to Flowey. And right now, we are at the very beginning in the flower cave, and we are all alone. So, let's see what's gonna happen next. Uh, uh, since we've looked around already, let's go to the... Oh! Oh! Okay, so I can move now. Fucking Flowey, I knew it was his fault with the vines. Okay, let's go here. The vines covering the exit have disappeared, thanks. The trash litter around the room glints in the scattered sunlight. The items are no longer here, instead there is a note. Don't be greedy. Um, okay, look around. Months of trash, okay, so it's the same. Okay, let's move... Uh, okay. North. Ooh, alright. Look around. I like the art style. It reminds me of paintings. There are piles of leaves gathered in the corners of the room and between the two staircases. But you see no tree or plant that they could have come from. They look crunchy. I want to play in them. Uh, look again. While looking around, you step on the leaf. They are crunchy. Cute. Um... Okay, I have to move forward. Oh. Uh, these are leaves or flowers on the ground there. The tunnels crisscrossing in and out of the various rooms that you pass through are riddled with what appear to be disabled traps and puzzles. Disabled? I guess the last human have gone through them all. Okay. Um... Forward again. Ooh! <gasps> Hi, Bluki. The small curved room houses a training dummy, set up beside this arched doorway leading onto the further rooms. A ghost seems to be speaking to the dummy. The dummy looks friendly, with a smile of sun into its burlap face, but the ghost looks almost scared. Wave, scream, or stand very still. I think I'm going to stand. I kind of want to see what they do next. Maybe if you stand still, they won't notice you. The ghost awkwardly disappears. Oh, okay. Um, look around, examine the dummy, or continue onward. Let's look around first. Oh! There is a small leather satchel here. It looks large enough to lift several items inside. Take it. The satchel wiggles in glee. What the fuck? Inventory increased to five. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, examine the dummy. Looks like a well-used training dummy. You spot some stuffing coming out of the seams. Look at the footed here. Flirt. I can flirt with the dummy. I kind of want to. Take a closer look, practice your kung fu moves, I'm not gonna punch the dummy. Leave the dummy alone. Okay, let's take a closer look first. There are some loose stitches near the eyes. The red soulless button eyes that stare right into your soul. A shiver rounds down your spot. Yeah, I actually felt it a bit. Well, let's play Frisk a bit, and let's flirt with the fucking thing. Did I see you at the toy store because you're simply a doll? Or, hey there, hot stuff, how it's going? I think we're going to go for the first one because I find it a bit cute. Um, no answer, surprisingly. And now you've started talking to Dummy. This place must really be getting to you. Oh, thanks for calling me crazy, game. Uh, I can flirt again? 
Learned. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'll put you and I together. Are you a parking ticket because you've got fine written all over you? Ah, these are even better because there are puns. Puns. Oh god. Mm, I'm gonna go with the parking ticket. I mean... Is it just you or are the dummy cheeks redder than before? Oh! The concussion you probably have must be worse than you thought! I can flirt again. But I think I'm going to go for a word because, yeah, I have other stuff on my mind. Probably best to leave it be. Uh, continue onward, yeah. East. Oh. There's someone here. <gasps> mm. Goat mama. She doesn't seem to notice you. Sneak around, hold your ground. I don't want to sneak around her. I want to talk to her. Let's hold our ground. Eventually the monster notices you. <gasps> oh goodness, I'm sorry dear. Did I did not notice you there. Are you alright? Uh, <laughs> why the number of choices, but yeah, I'm okay, thank you, stay back, what is this place, and you're a goat. <laughs> okay, the last one kind of made me... <sighs> oh, very. Uh... Uh... Again, nice rendition in the background, like the music very much. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. She's got the stance. That is good to hear. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Toriel, and I'm a caretaker of the ruins. I came, I come down here to the cavern every day to see if anyone has fallen down. And here you are. Your fall was not kind to you. You are injured, please take this. You received a spider donut. Great! If you eat it, you are sure to gain some strength back. If you like, you may accompany me to my fouse, fouse, house at the end of the ruins. You can sleep there to rest and heal the reminder of your injuries. Only my child and I live there. What? So it will be a peaceful place for you to stay. Oh, I'm tempted. Is this like I can leave? Sure, I'll come with you, or thanks for the offer, but I'd rather continue on my own. Hmm. Okay, the curiosity killed the cat. Okay, sure, I'll come with you. I am glad. Our home is humble, but I hope you will stay for a while. And I am sure you and Frisk will get along just fine. So I guess Frisk decided to stay with Mother Goat. Follow me then, dear. It is not far. Oh. You hear a ringing sound from Toria's pocket. She's got pockets in that dress. I'm fucking jealous. There are like... You know, usually there are no pockets in any dresses, which makes me... Hate them. Excuse me, I must answer this. Hello, ma- oh, oh dear. Why is she crying? Shit. Just hold on, stay right there, okay? Everything will be alright, just remain calm. I will be right there. I am afraid something has come up. I am very sorry, but I will have to leave you. You should be fine. Just make your way over to my house. It is straight down this path. You cannot miss it. Um, straight through that wall of spikes in front of us. I will meet you there shortly. Okay, since we have no other choice, look around. A gust of wind trails from the wide uh, doorway ahead, shifting a few leaves across the floor. There are spikes sticking out of the bridge. You could probably jump over them. Oh, the, these are the three boulders. Alright, um, look around. The room before you is long and filled with odd items. 
There is a sign hanging on the wall closest to you. Three grey rocks sit on top of the strange square pads on the ground, and a moat acro crosses the opposite side of the hall. Hmm. A short bridge extends across the still water. There is an exit across the bridge. Um, show nav. Oh, I can go back. Okay, let's... Let's go back. And let's go forward. Take a piece of candy. Yeah! It's a piece of candy. It still has the paper on it, so you know it is still good. And I'm going to leave. I only needed one. <laughs> okay, let's get back there. And... Okay, so I can't really do anything in here. I'm going to go... Oh! There's still, still an event. I guess if I take more than one candy. Um, right. Oh! Oh! There's a ghost from earlier. Sorry about just disappearing earlier. I didn't mean to ignore you. Or be awkward. I just made this awkward. Didn't I? It's fine. It's fine. It's really fine, man. I wasn't really expecting to meet anyone there. I wasn't expecting to run into you here either. But... But what? So... Uh... You're new here, right? Uh... I guess, yes? I'm Napstabluk. It's nice to meet you. Oh wow, so you really are a ghost. That's creepy. Fuck you, game. It's nice to meet you, Napsta. Oh, I got plus three. Oh, you too. I guess it's like I'm gathering a harem. <laughs> it's been a while since someone new showed up. But the last time a human fell down, it wasn't so bad. They were pretty nice, actually. There are others? Or what happened to them? Well, we know that there were others. What happened to them? They are fine. They are still here, in the ruins. And I got plus one. So I guess Frisk was the one that fell down before me? I see them every now and again. They are really nice. I'm sure you two will get along. Um, I better get back to work now. See you later. Farewell, my dear friend. Look around. The room is average size and is divided by a wall halfway through that separates the side of the room you are on from two exits on the other side. There is a narrow opening in the wall, its floor co covered with a scattering of red leaves. Okay, so I can go up or right. Okay, let's go right. Spider Bakery. I'm kind of... Ooh, this looks cute. There doesn't seem to be anybody here. There are some items sitting on the ground. Spiders look down at you from the ceiling. I can buy... Talk? I don't think there is anybody here. There are cute little spiders. And they are purple. <laughs> okay, uh, I can sell? Oh, okay. I can't really buy anything since I don't have any money. So, exit. Look around. The room is small and full of cobwebs. A sign proclaims that this is the spider bake sale, which is evident by the donuts and bottles of cider stuck in the webs around you. Now that I think about it, I guess most of the icing whenever I pick up a donut is stuck to the frigging cobweb. Okay, um, let's go back, let's go up, tunnel divide, 
Look around. A short hallway stretches before you. Different directions. Okay. Overgrown vines hang from the stone walls and a few stray leaves crunch underfoot. Okay. Let's go right. <gasps> Can I fly with a frisk? Oh, I... Oh. I think I fell in love with this game already. Oh, um, hi. I wasn't expecting to see another human. How... how did you get here? Can we romance ourselves a little... Frisky? <laughs> Partner? <laughs> I could ask you the same thing. I tripped. You're not Toriel's kid, are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, plus four! All oh, right, where are my manners? My name is Frisk. They look much older now. It's nice to meet you too. I uh, hope you grow to like the underground. It's pretty great once you get used to it. You're actually a human, not some monster. I've recently met Toriel. She seems nice. How's life here in the ruins? I guess, how's life here? Because, okay, we know that Toriel's nice and they know. Oh, plus three. <laughs> well, we don't have much, but it's nice. It's just that sometimes mom makes food with snails in it and it's not amazing, but don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, other than that, things are pretty great. I want to hug up Spudley. Are you feeling okay? You look a little under the weather. I'm sure a thing must be great for you then. I think she looks... They look... I'm so sorry. They look a bit under the weather. Oh, um... Um, I'm fine. Tiring day, you know. But I appreciate your concern. Are you sure you're okay? Do you want to talk about something? Um, and, uh, are you sure? No, really, it's fine. I appreciate the help. I really do, but honestly, it's nothing. Just making sure we're going to be nice. Thanks, you remind me a lot of mom, actually. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Okay, we're not boning our little friend over here. Probably. <laughs> but don't go thinking you can outdo her in the mothering department. She's the master. Oh hey, is that a crack on your phone? It looks pretty banged up. I have a phone. Here, you can take my old phone. My friend made me a new one, so I don't mind. You get the cell. Yes. We can sex text. The cell has been unlocked in the menu. You can use the cell to view your relationship with the various citizens of the underground. If you call them, they can give you some info about the room you are in. They can also let you know where they are. And I've already transferred all of my old junk of it, so it's just like new. Oh, and I'll add my number into it. <laughs> that way, if you ever need to get in touch with me, I'll just be a phone call away. Frisk's number obtained. So... Oh wait, I almost forgot! I'm actually supposed to be doing something important. I need your help. It won't take long, I promise. Just follow me. Oh... I fucking love the music. Sorry for the hike. Check this out! Frisk moves some of the vines out of the way behind the ball of candy. There is a door there! You discovered a snail hunting room. Stuff like this is all over the place. There might be even some stuff I haven't found. Okay, here we are. I know this is going to sound a bit weird, but I need to catch snails. Mom makes food with them and she needs a lot. This sounds completely reasonable. If you need them, you catch them, right? Really, you think so? 
Uh, yeah, I do it all the time. Oh, we still have a chance, man. We still have a chance. That's great. That'll be. This will be easy. Here's what I need you to do. First, here, take this net. Why do I need a net? It's a big butterfly net, good for catching snails. Basically, just try to catch as many snails as you can. It's tricky though, because you can only try to catch them for a certain amount of time per day. After that, they will start to get suspicious and won't come out of their hiding places. Ready? Here we go! The snails will come out of the flower patches on the left. Click and hold on them to capture them in your net. Miss three snails and it's game over. Catch them to win. Good luck. Okay. Ah, fuck. It's a bit harder than I thought. Ah. What? Oh. <laughs> Alright. You found some snails. Five added to inventory. You know, I'm actually feeling a bit better right now. Mom will be happy too. She really likes snails. If you give her some, she'll appreciate it. Maybe even pay you back somehow. Frisky little fucker. Oh, and if this... If you want to do this again sometime, just tell me. This was fun. Or you could do it on your own, whatever works. Help in any form is appreciated. I, uh... I should get going now. Mom is probably wondering why I'm out so late. Our house isn't too far from here. Do you want to come with me? Mom and I would love it if you stayed for a while. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with them. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh, here we are. On our way to the basement. Hold on, let me tell Mom we're back. This is the person I told you about. Welcome back! I am glad you and Frisk managed to find each other. Anyway, let's eat! Yes, please join us. You follow Toriel and Frisk to the living room. I'm sure you'll love it. We're eating... Mom, what are we having again? We are having snail casserole. Oh. Good. Uh, about that. <laughs> Is there something wrong? Of course not. Hey, oh, snail catching friend, why don't you try some? You take a bite. It tastes interesting. <laughs> so, how is it? Please, do tell. It's great. I love it. It's not bad. It's kind of bad. I've never had any snails, but I imagine them to be kind of squishy, like a jelly. So... Uh, I want to bang either of them, so it's great. Love it. Really? I mean, of course I knew you would. Frisk, is there a problem with my cooking? Never, snails are great! <laughs> Oh, naturally. Either way, I'm glad our guest seems to be enjoying them. So, um, have you been liking the ruins so far? I think I like it better here than the surface. I don't think I like this place. I hate this place. It scares me. Why are three out of four... Like... <laughs> negative. Well, it is pretty cute and nice looking, and yes, sur the surface is bad, bad very bad. D do you really mean that? Yeah? That's great. Oh well, I'm glad you're enjoying your stay. Well, whatever you think, you're always welcome here. Of course, it would be impolite to kick a guest out, especially if they have nowhere else to go. However, I must ask that you contribute to gathering food, specifically snails, every day. 
Now please have some more food. It is good for you. Even though some people may not find it to their taste. Right, Frisk? What are you looking at me for? I love all of your cooking. Oh, it is alright, my child. I know snails are not your favorite dish. Uh, how long have you known? A mother can always tell what her child is really thinking, but I do appreciate the sentiment. Oh. Actually, is it okay if I turn in early? I feel a little tired. But you haven't... have hardly eaten anything. Oh, alright. After all, it is important that you get your rest. Thanks, Mom. As for you, eat at least one more bite before you go. Fair enough. Thank you. Oh, is that a cell? Can I see it for a second? Toriel fumbles around with the buttons for a little longer than is comfortable. There! You got Toriel's number! Heck yes! More sexting! Do not hesitate to call me if you need me. Have a good night! Toriel, why are you encouraging me to call you in the middle of the night? Okay, look around. The entrance to Toriel's house splits off in three directions. A wide, nondescript staircase leads down to some kind of a basement. Oh. Corridor, living room. The exit. Okay, let's go to living room for now. Oh, hello again. Did you want to talk about something? What can I do? Oh, good question. Hmm, there's not really any work to be done for the rest of the day. At least, not that I can think of at the moment. It appears you are of the hook. Personally, I would use this chance to rest. After all, you must be very tired by now. Yeah, that... Uh, Concussion and the head injury, yeah. I know, I would be. The ruins are not usually this lively. I will see you again in the morning. Sleep well. Alright. Uh, so I guess let's go to the corridor. You notice that there are three doors here. Let's check the unmarked door. You hear Toriel calling from the kitchen. I forgot to mention, there is a room we can use at the far end of the hall. Good night and sleep well. Go in? No, not yet. Oh, uh, no. Okay, uh, what? How do I? Okay, let's come back. And again, let's go to Frisk's room. There is a light shining under the door, so they are not asleep yet. You knock on the door. Come in. You open the door and enter the room. Oh, hi again. Oh my god, the doll. I don't want to know how it got the, to have a face like that. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm past my panic attack. <laughs> oh, hi again. <laughs> Something on your mind. Um, how are you? I was just stopping by to say, hey, I'm heading off to bed. Good night. What's all that stuff you have on your shelves? Um, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, what's that stuff you have on your shelves? Oh, just a couple of things from the underground. But how did she actually get all of this? Oh, you know. Why are they blushing? I just found it laying around. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, Toriel's room? Toyo's room strikes you as the type to be clean, orderly, and cozy. Going inside would be a huge invasion of privacy. You should know better. Okay, let's be nice and not get in there. You are above that. 
Check your door, yes, end the day. Oh, it's way different. What is that thing on the stool over there? When did your eyes get so heavy? You plop down on the bed. There's some slippers on the floor and a wardrobe. This is a weird place. Sorry about such an abrupt stop. I guess the video was getting a bit too long. So for now, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!